This presentation is going to cover the order Hemiptera and the suborder Heteroptera for the intermediate and senior insects. So if you're a junior 4-H'er or competing in the junior competition, this is not information that you're going to be tested over or asked. So for intermediates um, and for seniors, Heteroptera is that suborder of groups in the Hemiptera group that to me, I can always tell them because they kind of have this little triangle on their back. Remember, it's kind of like if you wore a blanket over your shoulders and you fold it over, you're going to leave a little triangle on your chest. Well, the way that insects fold their wings over their back, it does the same thing. It leaves a little triangle. So if you have a picture of something on the contest or you have an actual insect that you're looking at, if you can look for that little triangle, that will help you figure out if it's in the order Hemiptera, and at the very least, you can get half of that ID question correct. So one of the um, Hemipterans that you need to know as an intermediate and senior is our chinch bugs. Chinch bugs are going to be really, really small, 1 16th or so of an inch, itty bitty things that are that can fit on a blade of grass. You can see all of those um, on that grass there. And they're a pest because they suck the juices out of the grass and they kill the grass. They are kind of black and white. They kind of have these reddish colored legs. When they're immatures, they can be red in color. Um, but they, there's nothing really significant about these guys that can help you identify them. You're just going to have to probably memorize what they look like. Um, all hemipterans have piercing and sucking mouth parts. So just like with the chinch bug sucking the juices out of the lawn, um, the, le the blades of the grass, the cotton flea hopper, has piercing sucking mouth parts, really teeny tiny, and it feeds on the leaves of cotton, sucking the juices out of them. And it's just a little tiny um, green bug. And so obviously its host is going to be cotton, right? Um, Leaf-footed bug is another one that you need to know. Leaf-footed bugs are also considered um, pests. They are found on plants and weeds. They particularly like to lay their eggs on weeds, and so that's why they're found there. They have this kind of zigzaggy line across their back, and that's a good way to identify them. But also, if you look at the hind legs, they're flattened to be shaped like a leaf. So these guys are a pest, piercing and sucking mouth parts. Hosts would be plants and weeds, and like all the hemipterans, they have a incomplete life cycle. They are hemimetabolous. Water striders are an aquatic hemipteran in the heteroptera group. You would find them in ponds. They really kind of like bodies of water that aren't moving very fast, like stagnant portions of water. Um, they're pretty fast moving little things. They just skid across the water. They have these long, long legs um, and they kind of lay their, they lay, it'd be like if you laid your arms up to your elbows onto the water. It gives them, um, the, they are not able to break the tension of the surface air of the surface of the water, and so they're able to actually walk on top of the water. Um, these are considered beneficial hemipterans because they eat other insects, and they can indicate um, the quality of the water. They may not tell you that the water is good water, but they can tell you that this is still water where they're found. That's usually not water that you might necessarily want to drink. So they're indicators of the quality of water. A new insect that's now on the contest is called the kissing bug. Kissing bugs um, are a pest. They are kind of like in a type of assassin bug, but they transmit a disease called Chagas disease, which humans can get, dogs can get, other mammals can get. They nest in debris, so their, their host on the contest are animals, because that's what they're feeding off of. Where you would find them would be like rodent nests, um, chicken coops, um, under logs, just under kind of junk in wooded areas where some sort of a, of a host is nearby that has blood. They don't just feed on mammals, they will feed on um, geckos and lizards and birds. So they feed on anything that basically has blood coursing through them. They are definitely a pest and they're a medical concern. And the way that you can identify these guys, there are some that look similar to it, like maybe a squash bug. But they have a really skinny head. They're also called cone nose bugs sometimes. Their head kind of looks like a cone. Their abdomen has this uh, red and black checkered pattern, or it's kind of a orange and black checkered pattern. And you, their wings are significantly smaller than the width of their abdomen. 
So the one that might confuse you with these guys, if you're a senior, would be, they kind of look, they are a type of assassin bug, kind of, so they look similar to assassin bugs, but also milkweed bugs, um, squash bugs are another one for you intermediates that I would not get this guy confused with. Um, and maybe harlequin bugs, just because the coloring is kind of similar, so make sure that you don't get confused with these guys if you see another one. You can see by that penny, they're a pretty good sized bug. Now if you're a senior only, so intermediates you can turn off this presentation, if you're a senior on only, there's about 12 other insects that you guys are going to have to know. Uh, ambush bug is one. Ambush bugs, just by looking at their legs, you can tell, I can tell that these are probably beneficial insects, right? They're kind of cool looking, kind of green and brown. They have those raptorial legs so they can reach out and grab their prey. So these are predators, therefore they're beneficial. They are found on flowers and they are sit and wait predators. They kind of wait for their prey to come to them. You also need to know the assassin bug. Remember that kissing bug looks kind of similar. Coloring is a little bit different. This is probably the assassin bug that you will see on a contest. Assassin bugs have that little triangle. You're gonna look for mouth parts that are very, very short, can kind of jab into something, right? Um, beneficial for sure because they're eating bad things in our garden, but they can bite us. They just These guys don't transmit any diseases and you will find them on plants or uh, field crops. The big-eyed bug is a little teeny tiny beneficial insect that has giant eyes. Don't get these confused for chinch bugs because sometimes they do look like chinch bugs. Box elder bugs, or big-eyed bugs, I'm sorry, are going to be found in field crops. They are beneficial. Box elder bugs look similar to milkweed bugs and maybe a little bit like a kissing bug because they have that red and black coloring. Box elder bugs are found on box elder trees. Um, that's their host, but they really don't do any much damage to the tree, although they are considered a pest. Sometimes they're found in homes during the winter and they'll congregate all together so people don't really like them. The milkweed bug will be margined in red quite a bit more than these guys do. They have a, a line down the middle, kind of on their shoulders and a little bit on the tips of the, the end of those hard wings. I'm going to move real fast to the large milkweed bug. They kind of have more stripes. They're not really bordered the same way that the um, box elder bug is. So a large milkweed bug is considered beneficial um, because mainly it is reared in labs and so it's used for research because it's really easy to rear them um, and it feeds on milkweed and seeds but it is um, also important in laboratory settings. So box elder bugs again look kind of similar. Just know the, just be able to differentiate the difference in the, the red coloring. Burrower bugs are a pretty common bug. You'll see these when you water your lawns or things like that. They'll kind of crawl out. They're a pest in peanuts though because they like to burrow into the ground and so they'll suck the, suck with their piercing sucking mouth parts, they're hostile at mouse parts. They'll suck the roots and the nuts of the peanut, and so they're a, an issue. But they're kind of a round bug, almost looks like a little teeny tiny cockroach, and they have that kind of variable color right there. Changing color where those membranous mouth, membranous wings are going to overlap. False chinch bug is another thing similar to the chinch bug. It's not quite as um, pretty as a chinch bug is. They are also pests in lawns, just like chinch bugs are. Um, this is one you're just going to have to Google a lot of pictures and see if you can identify the difference between them. They're also significantly tiny. Minute pirate bug is a beneficial insect. Pirates um, attack things. Well, minute pirate bugs attack bad bugs for us. Itty bitty teeny tiny, that's why they're minute is in the name. Um, they kind of look like chinch bugs. They also kind of look like big-eyed bugs, so don't get the two confused. They are beneficial. They feed on small insects, and you would find them in, in cotton and other crops. Um, but the host or location, we're calling that an insect because that's what they like to feed on. Tarnished plant bug 
is um, actually a pretty common bug that you see in the springtime when all the flowers and things start to start blooming again. They're kind of oval in shape, they're coppery brown, they kind of have a yellow color on them. They are a pest. They feed on a variety of different plants and you'll also find them in weeds. So we see them a lot of times on wildflowers. Okay, the water boatman is another one that seniors only are gonna need to know and this is an aquatic insect that can, is considered beneficial. They kind of have this striped pattern across their back and they're not very, very large. So um, they can be mistaken for back swimmers because they have those hind legs that, that shoot forward just like the back swimmer does. Big difference is that these swim wing side up instead of wing side down. Um, and they have that stripe pattern. So that's the big difference between a water boatman and the back swimmer. So don't get those two guys confused. But both are aquatic and both are also um, beneficial. Water scorpions are um, kind of like water striders, but the difference is that you're going to see these pincher things up at the front, kind of like a scorpion has longer, skinnier, have funny front legs, also beneficial because they're predatory. These are found in streams, and so usually they're found in um, fairly slow moving streams, things that may not have a whole lot of oxygenated water. They're usually found kind of hanging up among the vegetation and they'll hang out on the water surface. So they, they act a lot like water scorpions in, in that way. And then our final senior hemipteran in the suborder Heteroptera are the wheel bugs. These are gonna be easy for you to identify. They are a type of assassin bug. Don't get them, don't call them an assassin bug and don't call them a kissing bug even though they kind of look like it. They have this wheel that's on their back and that's how you know it's a wheel bug. And so we know it's also an assassin bug because look at that short mouth part that's more like a beak or like a, a stabbing apparatus than it is a long skinny mouth part. Piercing sucking mouth parts, incomplete life cycle for everything in the Hemiptera suborder Heteroptera.